right, it is pre-fish day. You'll see Tyson beside me again. Give me a little good luck charm. Um, yeah, we're just pulling up to our first spot, Sinclair. We've missed him uh, edges for a bit. We'll see how we go. Um, so we can get a real early service bite. But, um, yeah, we'll take it from there. Proof it's going to be long and hard. As I've said all the way along, Sinclair is my nemesis. So we'll see if we can nut something out for once. Other than that, uh, won't get much footage today. I think I've worked out the cameras for tomorrow. So uh, we'll get some footage tomorrow. All right, talk to you later. So we've worked out that you can't get any further than those rocks. <laughs> I don't know if you can see in the water there. But the bonus of the uh, Bella craft is we can run in yeah, real shallow water. We're hoping to get over this shallow bit and then. Uh, didn't work. Can't see me because of the sun. So. <laughs> We're in uh, about five, 500 mils of water. Previous update, this place still sucks. But uh, we've now gone up the other arm. last uh, four hours out in deeper water we're just gonna go for a look up the other arm while we're down here see what happens but uh, yeah gonna see how far I can get up two cows two cows one boats and 26 non-boaters um, over the next couple days for this event. Um, it is a boater, non-boater, individual weight event. Um, so just clarifying, we do have a special permit, but it's a five fish per boat permit for the lakes here in New South Wales. So that means this week, boaters, you are fishing for three fish limit and non-boaters, you have a two fish limit. So that's our five fish per boat. So just reminding boaters, three bass, non-boaters, two bass. Um, one session per day. Um, we'll be right, so that's pre-fish done. Um, it was terrible. Got one fish on a footy jig. Got no plan this morning tomorrow. I've got Mel Draper in the boat with me, so I might ask him where to go. But um, yeah, it was a tough day, long day, very few bites. Guys worked them out. Hopefully I can stumble across something tomorrow, use it as another pre-fish day, so not looking forward to this one. Ah, I've got good mate here, Mel, with me today. Hello. Good luck charm, apparently. Maddie told me last night, so uh, looking forward to this one not. Uh, pre-fish was a bit hard yesterday, but um, yeah, hopefully I can maybe pay Mel a few bucks and he can tell me where to catch these fish but uh, you've got a plan early uh, I'm gonna go a couple of banks um, real real early fish shallow shallow and then um, I've got a jig bite up the river later on and then I've got nothing so that's uh, when we'll call for Mel's help but uh, looking forward to this one we've got a good field of course <laughs> it was a bit of a joke last night they're paying to six spot in this comp, and of course I fish, finished uh, six in the last comp, didn't get a check. But uh, <laughs> there's more in this one, which is quite surprising because the uh, hunter fish really, really well. So, and this is fish tough. So, anyway, somebody will work it out, and hopefully it's us. Got a flat fire, mate. Alright, 
it's 9.30 and we've made the call. We're gonna go up the other arm, so. Um, Mel's still on two, I'm still on zero. Let's see what happens. fish but uh, some people as I always did work them out so some people still caught them. For me it's back to the drawing board tonight and uh, see what I can salvage tomorrow. Um, I need, uh, need a heap of uh, big ones if I want to even get in contention I'm pretty much out of winning it but uh, yeah I'm by myself tomorrow so we'll see how nutty I can go and uh, You'll probably notice a disappointment in my voice. It was a really tough day. Mel got his fish early and I got my fish late, so go figure. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But I'm so frustrated. Hello to my loneliness. I guess that ignorance is bliss. Take me back to be part the new. Rewind, take it out of cue. And this sense can be a young man's game. Beautiful 
sunrise behind me. We're still on Lake Sinclair. It's always impressive how good the boats go in and out, how quickly they can load. Get 30 boats here and it'll take less than half an hour. The guys already checking in. Need some fish today. Rolling up over black Cadillac High heel boots and a sexy body full of tats Baby's bad, oh baby's hella bad After her there ain't no coming back Wanna take a run at that I think she's feeling me, turn it up a few degrees My imagination of her body gets the best of me Oh god she's such a tease, big lips, bruised knees I'm addicted to her, need her touching me Cause she got a bad little waist And we tearing down this place Off the liquor that we chase, got some needles to the face, baby, I don't need no space Coming closer for a taste And I'll show you how I make everything just fade away Cause she's like sex, drugs, cocaine, by so insane Jealous of the clothing that she wears up on that tight frame All game, no shame, baby, can't get a play I feel like an addict cause she's sex, drugs, cocaine
Stink. That's a real good dish. Number three. All right, bit of an update. We are currently at eight o'clock this morning. It's gone much, much better. I am by myself. Um, I don't know if I said that before. But yes, I am by myself and. Oh, it's the last day, Lake Sinclair, don't need points, don't need anything, I'm just going out to fish, and today it's worked well, I've got uh, one real good one, one okay one, and one small one, so I've got three in the first two hours this morning, where it took me all day to catch two yesterday, so uh, I believe I'm in at one o'clock, and uh, yeah, we'll take it from there, but um, I'm going to swing for the fence now and see if I can um, maybe catch pink bass and win the $500 prize because I would need double what I've got to even be in contention. So, anyway, that's more enjoyable today. A bit lonely. Nobody with me. But I feel much better. Alright, give me a bit of an update. Um, there's some sort of etiquette does go on in uh, fishing comps and um, I was down the bottom of the ladder uh, and Dane's up near the top with a chance to win it. Uh, this stretch of river from sort of here down, Dane's been fishing and I was fishing. Um, so I'm going to leave it to him uh, and uh, let him fish that. I'm going to um, push back out a little bit and uh, see what I can do. So it's just a etiquette rule of uh, day two they're higher than you on the ladder I always leave them alone and uh, we'll see what happens from there all right it is nearly 10 o'clock so I thought it could be a 10 o'clock update I've um, dropped one really good fish since the last I was on but that is it um, just went back into where I caught them this morning there's not as many fish there, but um, didn't get any bites, so we shall move on to the uh, next spot. <laughs> Alright, here it is. 12 o'clock update. Um, finally can't cast this plastic that Mel gave me yesterday anymore, can't get any stairs, don't have any more, uh, and struggle to get a bite on anything else. Now, I'm just going to throw some random stuff and see if I can work something out in the last couple of hours. Some wind drifts and bits and pieces. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Myself wondering what did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life fast forward, never turned back again. It's kind of funny that the more we pass time, the more we need to set the rewind. And our team was the year I had to leave you, but now I'm seeing all the signs. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true. I'm just as surprised as you. It's done. I've got a reasonable bag. Hope to get two kilos. We'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, you go and see.
beautiful, calm days, but it doesn't mean great fishing on St. Clair, does it? No, this place loves crappy weather. Yep. It likes wind, it likes rain and overcast, but um, well, either one of those helps you a lot. Well, there's, there's plenty of fish over a kilo. There's a lot of one threes and one fours in here, but they don't like biting in these type conditions. All right, let's see what you need. You need 2.6 kilos to take the lead. You got three for us? I know what Ooh, 2.6. Door's sort of wide open at the moment. Feels all right. 2.6 to take the lead. Might be enough eventually. Let's see if you take the lead for now. For now. 2.885. New leader in the boat aside, Ben Hay. Well done, mate. Good on ya. Sorry, Cameron Hall, wherever you are. Still have uh, a few boats unloading some fish. We haven't seen Keegan Painter yet, who was uh, sitting in second place last night. We haven't seen uh, Tim Oakley, who was sitting in first place last night. Bring him up, Dane Price. You were up there last night, Dane. What does Dane need to take the lead, Nicole? 2.86. 2.86. Two, eight, Bring him on up. If you went to work with the jigs, mate, 2.86 is very achievable. Yeah, I think I got that. I had a pretty good day. It was completely opposite yesterday. Everything went right. Awesome. All right, well, you've got three lovely fish there, mate. You need 2.86 to take the lead. How about 3.365 kilos, mate? Give us one of these. Nice. <laughs> and what are they, jigs? Jigs, yeah, all jigs. All right. What's that? Big bass is one point, yeah. Take, take this thingy with you. Yeah, yeah. Go do it in the tubs. I'll just have a bit of a drink while you sort them out. Big bass is still 1.35 kilos, owned by Nick Brunny. Where's Nicky, you around here? I haven't seen Nick today yet, Is he? Did he catch fish? All right, Dane, bring that big one up. We need to go 1.35. Yeah. All right. How, what, did, what did she go to the fork? Oh, I didn't measure it. On my scales, it was 1.4. All right, well, let's have a go. Pretty close. 1.405. New atomic big bass. Well done, mate. It could be worth 500 bucks for you. I'm glad your scales work all right. Yeah. <laughs> Timmy Oakley. Bring him up, mate. This is a bag that everyone's been waiting for. You caught over three kilos yesterday, but Pricey just banged that big bag of fish on there, mate. That's an impressive bag. Good bag, yeah, no doubt about him, but no, not good enough today, Steve. We've lost too many fish to win a tournament, but um, anyway, we got him, so. Oh, well, let's see, here you go. What does he need to take the lead, Nicole? 2.98. 2 2.9, oh, he might fall a little short. 2.79, 110 grams short, mate. But anyway, so we've got a paycheck coming your way. Grab that for a souvenir of the day that it didn't happen for you. <laughs> That's truth. <laughs> All right, Troy Lowe, bring him up, mate. Won the event down the Hunter. And you got another nice couple of fish for us, looks like. There's only two fish. That's a heavy bag. Yeah, it's not too bad. It might be up around two, I think. All right. Nicole, what does he need to take the lead? 3.29. Okay, not enough. 329 you need to take the lead in the non-boaters. But it is 2.255 kilos. You want to weigh that one for big bass? Yeah, maybe. It might be a bit off. All right, grab that ticket. Throw that big bass in that other bag over there and bring her up. Yeah, let's hope so. One point, what is it, 1.405 big bass now? No. I should just look at the top here. It will say Dane Price, 1.405. Dane Price moved into the lead also with that big bag, 6.245 kilos. Timmy Oakley in second and Ben Hay currently in third. In the non boaters, Adam Mears still leading, David Lane in second and Damien Winters in third. Okay, Troy, come and try and knock off uh, Pricey's big bass. Who were you fishing with today? You weren't fishing with Pricey, were you? No, not with Pricey today. Keegan, Keegan, all right. It's a tie, 1.405, divided them two times at the moment. There you go. That's, uh, it was worth it. It's worth 250 bucks and half of a two-piece rod at the moment. 
See how that goes. Someone please wave a bigger one. <laughs> All right, Ruben, bring him up. You were sitting in third place last night. Mark Lennox. What does Mark need to take the lead, Nicole? 3-1-3. Three, 3-1-3. One, three. Three, one, three. You reckon you got it? Uh, probably, yeah. Okay, 3-1-3. Three, three. Oh, yeah. How about 3-3-2-5? Three, three, New leader, Mark Lennox. And tell us quickly, how long ago was it when you won an event here at the same time of year? 11 years ago. Woo! This time of year. <laughs> grand final. And it was the grand final in 2012. Well, there you go, mate. Well, let's see if you can history repeat. Mark Lennox moves into the lead. Jill up first. Jill, up you come. Jill Wales, you caught one yesterday maybe, Jill? And one today. It's got to be about three kilos to take the lead. Oh, yes. 825 grams for you there, Jill. What did this one eat? Um, that was a jerk bait. On a jerk bait, well done. Keegan Payne, I'll leave your fish in there and come have a, have a chat to us, mate. There's a thing at ABT we call Sponsor Karma. This is a TT event. You're a TT guy. You've got more TTs on there than a strip bar. Yes. Let's, um, <laughs> yesterday, you were coming second. You got just over three kilos of fish. I did. Today, what happened? Um, I don't know what you got in your bag. Is it good or bad? It's a good bag. I think it's going to be close. I'm a little bit nervous. So, I, I got like a 1.2 kilo upgrade like 15 minutes ago. So, that was... Pretty handy. How many high fives did you give yourself? Oh, a couple. Plenty. All right. What do you need to take the lead? You need 3.125. Go grab a spag of fish, mate. Come on, Keeks. Look, the crowd's just gone silent. Keegan hasn't won an ABT event yet, has he? Yeah. Come on, Keeks. Three, you need 3.125. Let me check this three in there. Oh, there's some good fish in there, mate. 3.125, we want to see. How about 3.26 yeah. kilos? Yeah. Yeah. I hope not. All right. Well, you're our new leader. Do you want to have a crack at Big Bass, or do you think you haven't nah. uh, haven't got it there? One point four. Troy got that cracker in front of me. I I took off a plastic and put on a jerk bait and got a smaller one, and then he donked that big one, and I was like, oh, plastic's gone back on. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, put them back. Get your photo taken, mate. And uh, we have a new leader, eh? Six point three eight kilos over Dane Price at the moment with Tim Oakley in third. The non-boat is the same, Adam Mears, David Lane and Damien Winters. Do we have any bags left to weigh? Is everyone in? I'd say that's, we're going to uh, leave the scales open, but uh, Nicole, if you want to pause that live stream, we'll come back for the presentation in about 10 minutes. I was going a bit fast for the score tent. So what happened was Mark Lennox dropped that big bag on the scales. Keegan Painter, if it wasn't for Mark Lennox, would have come first. But Mark Lennox, 6.435 kilos. Keegan Painter, 6.38 kilos. It was exciting for about 60 seconds, mate. <laughs> Go and give Mark Lennox a bit of a cuddle, mate, and I think everything will be all right. <laughs> Our apologies for that, we're going too fast. <laughs> and Mark Lennox uh, seems to have won the TT round of the 13 Fishing Bass Pro Series here at Lake St. Clair over a fast finishing Keegan Painter with Dane Price in third. Back in 10 for the presentations. Well, that's a wrap. I, uh... Oh, how uh, focused this is. going through Sydney and uh, finished the last round uh, not 100% sure I think I finished 17th rallied today moved up about 10 spots uh, but yeah still have this Sinclair hoodoo uh, traffic starting to slow up here in Sydney so might be a long trip home we'll see how we go it's been a good season enjoyed myself. I've got one more trip to do up to Queensland for the grand final. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that one. One one last chance to uh, to win one and not just finish out of the cash, which has happened twice this year already. 
Um, anyway, well done to the winners. Um, there was a little bit of controversy at the end, but that's just uh, a computer glitch, so can't blame anyone for that. So Keegan thought he'd won it and then found out he'd lost it. And Dane was pretty close. Um, yeah, it was, it was interesting. Um, interesting day. Uh, I caught it really good today. So, not sure how much footage I got uh, due to the fact that um, my camera stopped charging and I didn't have the right mounts to change it to a different charging port. So, I didn't get any footage on day two of the Hunter, I don't think. Uh, but I'll, I'll go through it. See what I come up with. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, it'll be much easier to do the grand final, not a double header. It'll just be uh, a single event. So looking forward to that one. And um, you've got about uh, seven hours to go here. So uh, I'm going to crank into that. And I might talk to you later on just to keep myself sane. But, uh, yeah, as I said, thanks for watching.